Hello and good evening. I'm Christopher Lesane, the Interim Dean of Student Life, the Athletic Director, and the 10th grade health teacher. And although we started off virtually learning, I am so excited for the school year. Let's go Wolfpack! Good evening parents. Welcome to the virtual back to school night. My name is Mrs. McCarthy and I will be your son or daughter's world religions teacher this semester. World Religions is part of the Social Studies Elective, so um, I'm excited to have them because they have chosen this class to participate in. In World Religions, we start off with learning about the seven dimensions of religion, basically the seven things that um, all religions have. We are going to then explore um, various religions through these dimensions. We will um, start with Hinduism and then move on to Islam and Judaism and um, if we can squeeze it in, Buddhism. Um, and it is, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of projects um, to help uh, identify various rituals and themes within some of these religions. Um, and most of the time, I find that people, uh, students are very engaged in this course, so I am happy to have them here. If you ever have any questions, you may always email me at jmccarthy at dbcr.org, um, and you can certainly call the school and leave a message for me um, on my voicemail. I am uh, teaching from the classroom, as you can see, so I can uh, get those messages pretty quickly and return your phone call if you need to chat. So I look forward to this year. I am so excited to have your sons and daughters again, and um, I hope that you have a blessed evening. Peace be with you. Good evening. My name is Mrs. Wilkins, and I will be your son or daughter's physics teacher for the school year 2020-2021. I can be reached via email at wilkinsl.dbcr.org. Grades will be updated to PLUS portals every two weeks. Currently, office hours for seniors are on Mondays from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Any other detailed information can be found in the syllabus. Hi, my name is Mr. Backus. Um, I should look kind of familiar. I um, am teaching anatomy and physiology to seniors this year, but the last Four years I've been teaching um, uh, sophomore biology, so I got a chance to have your student uh, two years ago, which was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it, and they seem to too. Um, the best way to reach me is my email address, so c b a c a s at bbcr dot org. Um, so I'm really excited for this anatomy and physiology class. Um, I get to talk about everything from, your, you know, all the body systems. I get to um, really prepare your kids for um, uh, hopefully college or career readiness. Because of COVID, we have the awesome opportunity to be able to um, use technology a lot, which is awesome because in the work world and in college, there are going to be online classes. There are going to be online meetings. Um, I think that this offers a great opportunity to kind of work on, you know, uh, Microsoft Word, be able to use um, Teams, be able to use Zoom, be able to use um, all types of online um, programs, familiarize themselves, kind of give them a head start. Um, I'm going to go over the syllabus real quick just to make sure that we understand everything. So again, we're in anatomy and physiology. Um, so we're going to be talking about the nervous system, the endocrine system, skeletal system, digestive, um, uh, reproductive, urinary, all that fun stuff. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to email me. Um, I, you know, enjoy hearing from parents shows me that um you know allows me to kind of um help out in any way i can and i think that this is going to be a great year hi parents and guardians my name is julia pinto and i'm your student's statistics and probability teacher this year 
I'm really excited to get to teach your students and I look forward to figuring out online learning together. I wanted to give you some information about this class. So this is from our syllabus for this class, which is found in your students team files. Um, through the year, we're going to cover how to gather, use and analyze different kinds of data um, and also the rules of probability and how they apply to real life. Um, if you need to contact me, the best method is by email. Um, send an email to jpinto at dbcr.org. Um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas of how to best help your students. Um, the syllabus also has other information, such as where to find documents, um, what happens if your student misses class or needs to turn in a late assessment, um, test corrections, and expectations for the class. Um, I look forward to hopefully meeting you one day, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Hello, I am Miss Anderson, and I am going to be teaching senior English this year. Uh, if you ever need to get in touch with me, this is my email address up here. It's manderson at dbcr.org. Uh, please feel free to get in touch with me if you have questions about the class, concerns, um, or if you just want to check in about your child's progress or ask questions about their grades. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. This is what the students will be working on this year. Um, so first quarter, which is uh, September and October, um, the seniors are going to be reading uh, a collection of essays, poems, and short stories um, that are centered around identity. Um, who are we? Where do we come from? Um, and how does that affect the way that we see the world? Um, at the same time, the students are also going to be exploring their own sense of identity, um, and they are going to be working on sharpening their skills at writing uh, comparative paragraphs and analyzing literature. So it's going to be a little bit of English uh, class where you have to analyze text and a bit of English class where you um, reflect on how the literature that we read resonates with your own life, your experiences. By the second quarter, so by the end of October, uh, we will start a major research project. So this is a project that will probably take us until January to finish. Um, and this will be something that will require some hard work from the students, but hopefully this research project will also be rewarding because they will get to pick their own topic um, that they want to research. And I am strongly going to encourage the students to choose a topic that is somehow important to them personally, that it's important in order for them to understand uh, their culture or their history a little bit better, um, or in order to understand something that they personally are interested in, something they want to pursue a career in, or just something that is an emerging passion of theirs. Finally, when we come back during second semester, we're going to start reading novels. So this is the time of the year when your child should carve out some time at home, uh, to sit with the book and uh, mark it up. Um, so I will also greatly appreciate it if um, you could reinforce these reading habits at home as much as possible. However, I, of course, I will reach out if I need extra reinforcement. So that is basically an overview of English class for this year. Um, please reach out if you have any questions. And I am so very excited to be teaching this class. I have been looking forward to teaching this particular class for a few years now. Hi parents, my name is Brianna Wright and I am your son and daughter's college prep teacher and college counselor. I have the pleasure of working with them during our college prep class to prepare them for applying to college, helping them decide which college will be a good fit, and helping you all through the financial aid process. So this month we are focusing on finalizing college essays. The students are doing a lot of editing um, and a lot of outlining and just kind of unfolding their essays. 
Um, in addition to that, students are working on making their college list. So if there are any schools that you encourage them to apply to or that you think would be a good fit for them, definitely talk to your students about that as they're making those lists right now. Next month, we're going to shift our focus to the financial aid process. And on October 1st is when the free application for federal student aid becomes available. So I hope to see you all at our virtual financial aid workshops. I have a series of those that we are going to be hosting in order to work with everyone to complete the FAFSA. Um, the dates for that are Monday, October 5th from 5.30 to 7.30. Um, and that is for anyone whose last name begins with the letters A through Z. And then on Tuesday, October 6th, from 5.30 to 7.30, it's last names E through K. On Wednesday, October 7th, from 5.30 to 7.30, is last names L through P. And Thursday, October 8th, is last names um, Q through Z. And again, that's from 5.30 to 7.30. So I look forward to seeing you all then. There's definitely more information to come. Um, but in the meantime, if you have any questions or need anything, please reach out to me via email. My email address is B W R I G H T at D B C R dot org. Thank you, and I look forward to working with you and your students this year. Take care and stay safe. Hi, parents and guardians. My name is Julia Pinto, and I'm your student's pre-calculus teacher this year. I'm really excited to be teaching your students this year, and I am looking forward to seeing how online learning plays out. This is my sixth year of teaching, my first year at Don Bosco. I'm from Dallas, Texas originally, um, and I wanted to give you a little bit of information about our class and ways that you can reach out if you have any questions. Um, so this is from our syllabus that is in your students' teams files. Um, through this year, we're going to be covering different kinds of functions and um, how to describe them and their applications to real life. The best way to contact me is at jpinto at dbcr.org. That's my email. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, ideas for how to help your students, please reach out to me. Um, and if you would like information about the class, please refer to the syllabus first and then um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions about makeup work, test corrections, absences, um, expectations for the class. Um, I look forward to meeting you eventually and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Hello, I am Ms. Anderson and I will be teaching senior psychology this year. It's a one semester long class. So I will have some of your students first semester and then some of the seniors only for second semester this year. Um, so I wanted to go over how to contact me and what we will be studying in psychology. Uh, first, my email is manderson at dbcr.org. You can email me anytime if you have questions about class, questions about your, um, your child's grades uh, or some concerns, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. This semester, we are going to have three major units that are going to last us until January. So during first quarter, uh, which is September and October, uh, we are going to be studying mental illnesses for the most part. So we are going to cover uh, a series of mental illnesses, uh, what their symptoms are, and what different forms of that mental illness might look like, because it doesn't always look the same for every person who has it. Second quarter, we're going to take a step back and learn a bit about the history of psychology and some of the early theories and more modern theories that guide psychology and that have shaped the field from its beginning. So first we will talk about Sigmund Freud's theories of human psychology, as well as Carl Jung's theories of human psychology. And uh, after that, we will move on to more modern theories about um, stages of development that children go through, um, as well as trauma theory. Finally, we are going to move on to the scientific and research-based part of psychology. And we are going to talk about some famous experiments that have given us uh, major information, again, that shaped our understanding of psychology. So first we will talk about uh, conditioning experiments that were done on animals. 
And after that, we will talk about some experiments that maybe weren't ethical and weren't moral, um, but that still taught us quite a bit about elements of human psychology. And that also taught us about uh, ethics in research and that have determined what is a safe way to conduct experiments with human subjects. So that is an overview of what this semester in psychology is going to look like. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And I personally love teaching this class. I have had um, a wonderful history with teaching this to students, and I am really excited to be teaching it again to this group of seniors. Hi, I'm Mrs. Pope. Welcome to DBCR Back to School. I teach the AP Calculus class. I am looking forward to teaching AP Calculus this year to seniors. Um, I've been here, this is my fourth year, so these seniors were starting the same time that I started, so it's amazing to see how far they've come. Uh, I enjoy the subject of calculus because it kind of brings together all the years of high school math, and you're using all of those skills that you learned all the way back to Algebra 1. Uh, I have my degree in computer science and a degree in biology with a chemistry minor. And in addition, I hold a professional advanced teaching certificate for the state of Maryland. Growth mindset. Uh, anyone can learn math. There is no such thing as someone being a math person or not being able to progress in math class. If your child makes a good effort and asks questions, they're off to a great start. And I look forward to working with parents and students to support this class. Students will be able to access their assignments for the week every Monday morning. The work must be completed and submitted by Fridays of the same week. They can find these assignments in the assignment tab in Microsoft Teams. Lessons that students do on their own are called asynchronous in this remote setting. They'll be viewing video lessons and taking notes on the material. They will also work out problems and try to apply what is being taught during the video. Homework problems will also be assigned to match the video lessons, and all of these notes and problems will be submitted to me as part of the homework assignment. Extra credit is also available each week. During synchronous lessons, we will be coming together using a Zoom session. There are specific school-wide norms for these Zoom sessions, and you can find details in the school handbook. Participating in class by completing engagement and collaborative work is a very important part of calculus class. Being respectful to one another is also vital. Please feel free to contact me via email my address can be found in the staff directory on the school website. I hope to meet all of you sometime in person soon. Hi, my name is Emily Entz, and I will be teaching English for Honors this year. Um, a little bit about myself. This is my sixth year teaching at DBCR, although this is my 12th year teaching overall. And although Primarily, I have been teaching underclassmen at DBCR. I do have experience teaching upperclassmen and seniors as well. I have a bachelor's in English with an emphasis in secondary education. I received this degree from Grand Valley State University, which is a pretty large school in my home state of Michigan. Um, I also have a master's of education in curriculum and instruction from the University of Maryland about English for Honors as a whole. Um, we will focus primarily on a British literature curriculum. The goal I have set for this class is that it mimics somewhat of what a general education English course may look like in your child's first year of university. Um, so with that, our texts are more of what a Brit Lit course in university looks like. So we will start with Beowulf, and then we will move on to Shakespeare and read The Tempest. We'll move on from there to Gothic literature and read Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And then finally, we'll read Never Let Me Go, which is a modern British novel. 
So if you ever need to contact me, the best way to contact me is through email. My email address is eenz at dbcr.org. Thank you.